So I grew up in Rotorua, quite a traditional Māori upbringing. Uh, we grew up about 200 metres down from my marae. Yeah, I can remember watching Goldie play. Um, it's funny playing basketball with him now because you can see him getting frustrated because he's used to operating on a high level and then you've got a bunch of us Muppets running around with him, making him look bad. Before I started working at Sky, I'd never been on a plane, never been out of the North Island. So to go on a plane that wasn't the McDonald's plane in Taupo was quite a buzz for me. It starts as soon as the fixture is announced. That's when we start coming up with a plan and how we're going to um, make today look. We've been doing rugby for so long, you need to introduce new ways of doing things, and he's doing that. You all good for that nipple course? Uh, yeah. I basically just oversee the whole production from where to go, so all the good and the bad parts. He definitely knows what he's talking about. He definitely loves what he's doing. On All Blacks, you have uh, a real high calibre of um, crew. 10 seconds to the All Blacks. So, yeah, when that red light goes on on All Blacks test, everyone um, sort of switches on. Three, two, one. It's the All Blacks taking on South Africa, live and exclusive on Sky. When you work on live TV, sometimes it gets a bit tense. But when you're in the moment, you don't have time to think about being nervous because it's so fast that you basically just have to react or, you know, trust your gut instinct. If you can fly soon, drone, that'd be good, oh, or after the fireworks. Probably the hardest thing now is at home on the couch. I can't really enjoy game properly. I'm always thinking about work, what the director's doing here, what the producers thought. My family are very proud of me. They always let me know that, but they all think that I'm either a cameraman or the guy that installs the sky. I get all these calls, can you come around home and fix my sky? So, yep, on my way. I've never turned up, but, um, yeah, they think I'm a satellite installer or a cameraman. And I started when I was 19 with these guys, so they've kind of helped raise me. So they're kind of the family away from home. Yeah, a lot of these guys around here have helped raise me and helped me become who I am today. Oh, Marcus is, you know, he's, he's a great young man. He's not prepared to just keep going along the same route of saying this is how it was done. He's looking for new ways of doing it. I've always felt lucky to do what I do because heaps of my family from Rotorua have, you know, real jobs where they, they're up at um, Sparrows and they get home late. Jobs like, you know, in the bush or in the mills. When you talk to them, it puts everything in perspective and makes you realise how lucky you are.